The governor's new executive order covers all pre-K through 12th grade teachers and school staff, along with state workers and employees at public colleges and universities, but not lawmakers. According to the governor's office, legislators are exempt from the rule. Our senior political correspondent David Cruz did some informal polling once that carve-out was discovered and residents, even elected officials, had strong opinions. David, what can you tell us? Yeah, Brianna, when Governor Murphy issued his executive order yesterday mandating that school staff be vaccinated or subjected to weekly COVID tests, he added that the executive order extended to state employees. A little later in the day, a lawmaker, Ralph Caputo of Essex County, sent me a text asking if lawmakers, also state employees, were bound by the executive order. Interesting question. I assume that they were, but I checked with the governor's office just in case, and they said no. Apparently, the legislature, as a co-equal branch of government, may not be compelled by the governor's office to follow any of his executive orders pertaining to state employees. So I tweeted that out, along with a thoroughly unscientific poll asking our Twitter followers if lawmakers should be covered by the executive order. Not only did they think that they should be, but they were really annoyed at the lawmakers. So we spoke to a few legislators today, including Caputo, who started the whole thing. I read the executive order that says all state employees and technically legislators work for the state of New Jersey. Now, if somebody has a different opinion, uh, they're gonna have to clarify it. This is a, a reckless way uh, not to, for us as legislators, not to uh, comply with the governor's uh, executive order. It's the right thing to do. I don't think he has to mention legislation, it's just state employees. I have long been a proponent of, if we're gonna put mandates on the people we represent, if we're gonna put mandates on our own employees, we need to step up to the plate and you know, do the same things to ourselves. And oftentimes there's a loophole or exemption or something that makes the public truly hate government and elected officials because they rightfully call BS and go, wait a second, you're forcing me and my family to abide by a mandate that we may or may not agree with, and yet you are not doing the same things to yourselves. It's not really a, a, a up for a vote. It is the way it is. We're a co-equal branch of government, so the, gov the governor can't compel uh, fellow elected officials to uh, uh, to be vaccinated. We're not standard uh, state employees. That having been said, I think we all should be vaccinated. The people that hire us are the people. So if they don't like a politician's answer, they can vote them out of office. So your answer to their outrage is vote us out of office if you don't like it? You vote folks that you disagree with out of office. The legislature is also conveniently kind of exempt from many Open Public Records Act requests and other policies that apply to state employees. That's a power they've given to themselves and could theoretically also take away. Neither the Senate President nor the Assembly Speaker was available to talk to us today. Meanwhile, the governor's office clarified this afternoon that the executive order issued yesterday applied to teachers and school staff, but the mandate on state employees was a policy announcement, not an executive order. A bit of wordplay there, but still acknowledgement that when it comes to mandates, only the legislature can tell the legislature what to do, no matter how unfair it seems to any of us.